Hey everybody, Dr. Red here, and we are back with more Fallout 4, Far Harbor. We left off and we found out the weird creepy robot dude with all the tubey moats is kind of maybe doing some bad shit crazy stuff. So we're gonna do that lovely thing where we try to figure out what exactly he's doing and deal with it that way. There's a locked door here with a note. Swords room is for the general good store. It's not free for all. I'm not working with much to begin with, so quit taking things. When you get in there, come by the store. I'm going to say no. You can ask if you want. So there's a dude named Cog who might let us in. Thankfully, or shittily enough, my lock picking on this character is pretty bad. So we're not getting in the normal way. As in normal being breaking and entering. And since we dropped down, I'm not sure how to get up. Oh, there we go. Stairs. There we go. Is there anyone on this level? There is. Let's find out who we can talk to over here. I thought there was something over here. All right? Oh, there's Cog. Excuse me. Sounds like you got the all clear. So what's your story? Kasumi. Looking for Kasumi. Oh, isn't that sweet? That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. You know, she. I feel like Kasumi super means well. Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. That's what I was trying to tell her earlier. Came from, let go of all that. Sort, well, sort of admit, human of sense doesn't matter. Should matter. Sure, I hear you. I hear you. Is that so? Huh. Most of the chumps here act like I'm out of my gourd. No, nah, I'm gonna kiss ass. I need that key to that room. Anyway, lately I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. My problem? Storage room key? Kasumi said she needed the key to the storage room downstairs. Can I borrow it? Well, yeah, I guess. I, I mean, you could, but I lost it. Oh. I should never have agreed to help Faraday move all that equipment. Into the uh. Like there could be anything I'm carrying that's going to damage Dina's computers. <sighs> <sighs> I'm with you there, Cog. Things around in that upper floor that circles the wall of the telescope room, if that helps. I mean, I guess on a technical level, it does help me. We're going to go up a little bit higher and see what info we can get out of the other people, right? Those leaves and brings us right to the island. Of course, we want to explore here a little bit more. So before we talk to Weird Creepy Robot, we're going to talk to Weird Creepy Robot friends. Like uh, Faraday. How's it going, bud? So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. And I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. Potentially, we'll see. I mean, yeah, you deserve safety. You're right. It is a good cause. Saints definitely deserve to be safe, just like everyone else. It's so good to hear that. Very encouraging. Please, make sure Dima knows that as well. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Very idealized Sometimes viewpoint of this guy. About, well... I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. Fog condensers. That sounds bad. Yeah, you know, we're lucky to have you. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Thank you. That's very kind. Yeah, huge ears. What about his augments, though? I'm curious. Or no, fog condensers. What's that do? Oh, those? Dima and I designed them when it became clear the fog was only getting worse. They're effective, but have such a limited range. Dima insisted we provide them to the people of Far Harbor, and I'm so glad we did. Without the condensers, that was awfully nice, nice sure of you guys. Anywhere left. I'm guessing that's what those weird li uh, light posts are like. Dima looks like he's had a lot of work done. He has had a lot of work that's done. Certainly an understatement. Between the two of us, we've made so many modifications. He was just a prototype, never built for all this. It took a lot to overcome the limitations of the original design and expand his memory. It really is remarkable, isn't it? He's overcome so much. He's become so much more than he once was. Oh, God. Faraday's creeping me others. out. I'm going to offer to help. I can do to help out. Just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though. Most so things in this game are dangerous, or, so, or else I'd be bored. A along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Mm -hmm. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here for extra parts, if nothing else. 
My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. God, so I can handle anything you can throw at me, fair day, dog. What happened? No. What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. The point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. Sorry about the squeaky chair, by the way. Are you up for it? Ah, uh, fuck yeah, I got this shit. Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. What can I say? I'm helpful as all hell, right? Let's see if we can get through that room through this door. Perfect. Hey, computer. Hey, I'm, I can't hack that. That's, uh, that's not happening anytime soon. I don't think I can hack it. Won't be able to hack this. God, no. All right. So it looks like even higher up, we have the option of... Maybe not higher up. Maybe we don't have the option to do something higher up. Let's see. Where you belong... You know what? We're going to talk to Dima. What do you have to say to me, bro? Dima? Yes. What is I'm also going to quick save. Kasumi says she's seen parts of your memories. Death projections. We might have just thrown her into the bus hard. That's unfortunate. She should be focusing on herself. Her new life. I feel like I just totally threw her under the bus by accident. Of the outside world. Please. This is a matter best left to me and my advisors. We aren't planning to destroy the island. Those projections were merely to help us realize the cost of inaction. Sounds like a lot of fancy talk aimed at throwing us off the trail. Thanks, Longfellow. I appreciate that. You're straightforward. You're a straight shooter. You know, we're demanding answers. I'm getting sick of this whole noble leader bullshit from you, Dean. Thank you. Stop hiding and tell me the truth. All right. You've made your point. There's a conflict that's been brewing on this island shortly after we built Acadia. Between Far Harbor and the Children of Atom. I figured as much, eh? They want to kill each other. And each side wants us to help them. We've tried to stay neutral. But Far Harbor was going to be wiped out by the fog. So that's when we built the condensers for them. And I was friends with the previous leader of the Children of Adam, Confessor Martin. I even gave them their headquarters, the submarine base they named the Nucleus. Which was a mistake. Oh, Jesus Christ. Because Martin is gone and the new Confessor tech. Okay, they praise atomic energy. They're just insane in general. Threatening us force us to choose a side. I left behind something very oh, important Dima. in that submarine base I gave them. Dima's earliest memories are stored in the military computer banks in that base. The pre-war security systems and Confessor Martin's goodwill were supposed to keep them safe. But now Tectus is in charge, and he's after Dima's memories. We don't even know what's in them. But we do know that I spent nearly a century on this island. Oh, is that all? Whatever's in there is too dangerous to allow Tectus to get his hands on them. What can I do? What can I do to help? Let's let's get so this shit I dealt with. If you're willing to retrieve what I've lost and bring my memories back to me. So we have to go on their home base, steal shit, and this will solve this conflict without bloodshed. Okay. You'll have to get through the children of Adam's base. Ah, oh, damn it, I already told that one to kinda like eat a dick. Then once you get to the memory banks, you'll have to use a special. I can I can fake crazy. I, I'm good at that. Through the security systems. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help. In short, they're trying to get around with your techno mumbo jumbo, and I think we're going to go inside his old memories. I'm calling it. I'm on it. I'll get your memories, Dima. If we're lucky, the pre-war defenses have kept the children of Adam at bay. But that means you'll have to get As the saying goes, I ain't no bitch. Need. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam. Uh, I'll try to be neutral. Okay. Must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. I've got no love for those mindless fanatics in the Middle East. I won't complain if it comes to violence. Yeah, hoping it does. 
You know what, Longfellow? I appreciate it. I get you. I feel you. I, I, I like what you're throwing down. But, and this is a big but, I feel like we're going to aim for the neutral ending. Maybe one day I'll go ape shit, murder everybody, side with the crazy lunatics, all the fun stuff. But for now, we're going to be neutral Nancy. Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam were. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. Uh, yeah, we get the Faraday program thing. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? That's what I figured, yeah, like an actual connection between me and the computer, yeah. Computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it is a little exciting, because sure I like her. Why can't you be my companion? I mean, I like Long Longfellow, but you know what? Let's keep what I find. Don't worry. We'll I'll do what we can. His memory, and then we'll figure out things from there. Good luck. Apparently, I got caps for that, so you know what? We're good. But I feel like we had some side quests for people who still wanted some help, so we can help chase out, right? So we're going to find the stairs, which I keep walking past, of course. And we are going to find a good old Chase face. That was the woman, I believe, who was talking with us there. Up one more flight. Let's see what she happens to need from us. Because you know what? It's probably going to be something important and big and, you know, hey, things. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Why, it wasn't heard. It's not as quietly or efficiently as possible. Thankfully, she was never in any real danger. Rude. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. Oh, come on. I'm saving your ass right now. We're just making sure she's safe. I wanted to see for myself that she's safe. You have my word. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? How do you find them? How yeah. How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? That's not a subject we need to discuss. Shit. Okay, we had to fail one at some point, so you know what? Good enough. We, we did what we could. So by all means, make yourself comfortable. I want to help. What can you? What, what do you? What do you need me to do, friend? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island. So you may be decently equipped to handle it. I'm like, yeah, sure. What's up? I, I can do it, right? I'm listening. We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he. I wonder if it's gonna be Harkness from Three. Here. I doubt it, but you know what? That'd be that'd be a cool know, little like, nod to their previous start game. By talking to Brooks in Far Harbor, he's one of us, a synth. Brooks. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets was that was that the dude in the shop? I think that might have been shop bro. Not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working. For Maybe. Him. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L seven ninety two. L seven ninety two. I doubt we'll have to remember that. That's as much that, help sure. as I can give you for now. Please hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. This is a rough place, so let's just get the show on the road. And maybe we'll do some side things. It sounds like a, you know, nice thing to do, right? Maybe. We have the option to help so many people right now. Power tools, feral ghouls. Let's see. We should do the ones for, for the actual Far Harbor se settlement. And then we can go back and do the other thing. And all that fun stuff. So let's get the power tools. It seems like, a, you know, 
Just a fine aspiration. Get some combat in. Hang out. Just enjoy ourselves, right? Because it has been pretty dialogue heavy lately. I'm not going to lie to you there. <laughs> so let's see. Map wise, it would appear that that is way the hell over there. So, you know, what? we're going to just start beelining it in that direction for now. And we'll, we'll see what we stumble upon on our way, right? Let's see. Here's the thing. If this was just old content that you guys have seen time and time again in any Fallout series, I would probably just be cutting the travel time. But for now, I'm going to play through it. I might make an actual cut during it, but we'll see. Of course, we have to take the Bethesda shortcut of jumping down a mountain. Because what is... Oh, yeah, the fog is like... How, ra how heavy radiation is this fog? Is that a dude? That is just spooky mushrooms. Spooky mushrooms! Okay. But we are going to hit the fast travel locations maybe on the way. or uh, I don't know. I'm always torn up that way because I know myself that if I get them now, I will totally forget where to go afterwards or the fact that I hadn't checked them out. But it looks like we're going to be cutting through this airplane anyway, so maybe we can run through this one. That's not going to be an actual zone transition. We're still hidden. Nothing's trying to murder us yet. So, I mean, we got, we got that part going for us, which is something. Anything in here? Normally they have, like, the flight data thing up front, but... Advanced terminal with the staircase going up. Come on out, stranger. This doesn't have to get messy. Erickson, that you out there? Hey. You're still alive. Oh my god, it's a super mutant. Tell your friend to come on out here. I've had dealings with him before. Okay, okay, I thought we were gonna have to murder him. Maybe it's good we had Longfellow here. Die, mutant scum. Nice hat. I do like I your hat, bro. Myself. Good for you. Look, I don't really want any trouble. I broke off from the group I came here with a long time ago. I just started seeing things differently when we came to the island. and I couldn't stand how the other super mutants act to humans. I keep to myself up here and train my dogs. Do a bit of trade with people, too. At least those that don't open fire on me. Don't see any reason we can't do the same. Don't I'm already up, but thank, thanks for the invite. I, I appreciate it. Well, I, I like your I like your humble abode, my friend. Uh, anything good? How's it going, bro? I want to talk to you. Oh, you got puppies? <laughs> oh, you got a puppy. Oh, I do. Ah, oh, dogs. Oh, and Greg sees a super mutant pup. Oh. Mishka's like a wolf. You got a wolf, you got a dog, and you got a super mutant poochie. Right. Yeah, you're good, Longfellow. Good to see you're still kicking. Yeah, you too. You Sorry about pointing a gun at you earlier. I just get a bit. I don't like killing dogs, my friend. I'm. I'm, killing my dogs. I'm glad I came here. Good girl, Gracie. Mm -hmm. I got to see some puppies, some puppy dogs. <sighs> but anyways, like we were saying, we're going to keep going like northwest, give or take. I think that's our current nautical, de not nautical, we're not in the water right now. That's our current destination though. I'm going to pop into stealth, see if we're in caution or anything, but we're fine for now. It looks like the fog is radiated as soon as I try my hardest to actually get in it so I can check, but all in all, the radiation doesn't seem that scary. I'm just happy we got see dogs. Sorry. I'll stop now. But we're going to continue. We're making headway, I feel, unless this map's much... Okay, yeah, we're definitely almost here. Eagle Cove uh, something something. -ry. Looks like that's the sign for a walk-in movie or drive-in movie. I, I thought those were the coolest things when I was younger, but... <sighs> Never really, never really something. Oh Jesus Christ! Uh, stay very, very quiet, and then shoot it in the head. While we're hidden, come on. 
Four times crit damage. Okay, now our meter's full, so we might just go for a crit and hope that deals with it, because this thing's... Oh, God! That thing's terrifying. All right. So we are getting low on ammo with this gun because we just have to use like five rounds on an enemy, which is definitely a first in some time. The thing was huge. And I know we lost the signal for Edo Meadow Cinema. Ugh, cinema. We, we'll, we'll definitely at some point hit this up. Maybe not in the series, but you know what? People want to see the Far Harbor actual content, like the main content. Side stuff, there'll be someone who's a lot more Fallout specific who'll do that. See what's in here. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. Yeah, fair enough. There we go. Let's open up Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tannery is where you'd be doing hide work and all that other stuff, right? I think I hear something going hog wild in here. Oh, we have like no bobby pins. There we go. That is open up fine. couple of feral ghoul ghouls that have to be sorted. Is there any anything in here? Okay, we got a safe with some money and some leather, apparently. A, a bitch and shotgun as well. Beautiful. Alright. So we're just going to be walking with the lights on for a minute. See if Vats decides to show us anything cool. Okay, you're legendary, so hopefully you just flat out die there. It looks like that is the case. All good. He went goddamn flying there. Alright. So it looks like we have to get below us, and it, conveniently enough, there is the stairwell, or, de or a decline here. Graduate. God damn, there's so many ghouls in weird positions. It's wigging me out a little bit. Hey, that's a glowing one. Yeah, you're, you're not a friend, my friend. Did we just kill? Oh, God. No, we're good. We're good. He's down. Tannery key, some bottle caps. So I assume we can actually open up those uh, things we were looking at earlier. Power tools. And the usual, you finish the dungeon, here's your loot box BS thing, which, I don't know, I always thought that was super campy. Like, it almost made sense in Skyrim. It was kind of like, oh man, ancient adventurer, all-powerful dude. You found the hidden treasure at the end of the cave. It's in a little ch treasure chest. Now, this one, no, it's just, it's just a goddamn lockbox. It's super anticlimactic to me. That was kind of a garbage lockbox, too, but you know what? We can steal that wonder glue. Woo! So, technically not, but that's one quest with air quotes here, finished, done. Let's equip a weapon that actually has some bulletos, though. Let's see. Let's, roll, let's rock the harpoon gun for a minute. That sounds like... That sounds dumb. I'm almost positive this is a heavy weapon, so maybe... Maybe it wasn't something I wanted, but... Hunter's Combat Rifle. Did we pick that up? Do we have ammo for this? Whatever. It's a weapon. It gets the job done. So I think now would be a good time for us to quickly travel all the way back... Oh, apparently my power armor's there. All the way back to Fire Harbor. And we are back in the farthest of harbors where we can talk to this lovely lady, the Mariner. Mariner. However you say it. Sure did. Here are your tools. A fair bit of luck running into you. Here's your reward. Well earned. Anytime, dude. A little bit anticlimactic for a finisher. Ooh. A stranger came to town that might help you. That's the best I can offer. Hi, Pearl. You're cute. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. Somewhere. 
find any of the local police force. Well, funny how that works out, Pearl. I don't want to start a panic, but, well, we may have a murder on our hands, and we need an outside set of eyes. Location of the crime. crime take place? At the Cliff's Edge Hotel, just north of the town. Thank you. Any anything for you, little robot. Even though you're a little bit needy. Who's the victim? The victim. Well, we want to keep this out of the tabloids, but it's Ezra Parker, the financier of the hotel. Will you help us solve this heinous crime? Who are your employers? Let's see if we can nail this one. Who are your employers? I shouldn't say out here in the open, but my employers are quite wealthy. As are the other patrons of the hotel. Will you help us? There may still be a murderer at She didn't say who they were. Just that they were rich. Sure, I'll help. I'll help. Oh, thank goodness. Shall I go? Now let's meet you there. You know what? I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there. Good. I shall that works. Meet you at the main entrance to the hotel. It sounds to me... Guys, it sounds to me like we have a murder mystery that's going to come on. But... Shittily enough, that'll be it for this episode. Again, thank you so much for watching. It's been a blast. Right now we're going to be looking at more Far Harbor. I think, honestly, I think three episodes in one night is probably decent. So, you know what? I think we might actually go and do the, well, you know, the murder mystery thing. And maybe buy Alan's guns, because even though he's a prick, he might have guns. But, yeah. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. I'm definitely going to be playing through this. And then Bouncing to Dark Souls, I'm all over the place. One day I'll have an actual proper series schedule, but that might be a little bit farther ahead. But thank you so much. I'm Dr. Rhett, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now, everybody. Aww.